Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel guys, and today guys I want to update you about my Apple iPhone 7 Plus disaster. So basically to recap, if you click on the little links in the corner here, the little question mark or icon -y either corner, I'm not sure, um, you basically could see the previous videos. Basically I had an iPhone 7 Plus which failed about two years, uh, seven months, or two years, four months out of warranty. And it basically needed an entire new motherboard. Uh, it was cactus, it was toast, it was finished. And I, um, I went to Apple and said, hey guys, um, you know, this was just a little bit out of warranty. Uh, can you help me out? I sent it to the, and Apple's such a, you know, they're very cool and hip and happening. They said, take it to our Apple Santa. You got to make an appointment. You can't just turn up there and drop it off. You got to make an appointment, you know, five different types of jazz music to listen to whilst you're waiting, you know, that sort of shit. And I eventually I locked it in. They sent it off for assessment and they came back to me and said, look, the cut, the phone is toast. Uh, if you want us to do a swap, we can swap that phone for a refurbished similar model. It'll be $650. And I said, guys, 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 calm down, slow, back up, back up. Uh, look, guys, it's only a little bit out. Can't you help me? Begged them, pleaded with Apple. I begged Apple, I pleaded. Said, come on guys, can you help me out? Went to Apple Legal, and they basically told me, they said to me, I quote unquote, they said to me, uh, that is, because uh, my argument was, it was, it was, uh, my argument with Apple was that it was fair, you know, it, it was, it was, um, my argument with Apple is that it was it was it was relatively new. It hadn't been abused, or you know, it was a relatively good phone. And I I told him this, and um, they told me basically to get stuffed. Apple Legal told me to get stuffed. Uh, I spoke to a lady called Reader. Reader, she she spoke to Apple Legal. And the beautiful thing is with Apple, they never put nothing in writing. You know, if they're telling you to get stuff, they won't actually... I said, could you put that in an email to me? No, 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 no. They don't commit to anything like that. Uh, and I, I just paraphrased it. I sent it back in an email. I just said, uh, always without prejudice at the top of the email so they can't use that shit against you. I said, hello, reader. As per our phone conversation, I'm about to lodge an application with QCAT. That's uh, that's our, our Queensland Civil and Arbitration Tribunal. That's our Consumer Affairs. Application for a minor civil dispute. I seek Apple to replace or repair my Apple iPhone 7 Plus at no cost to me. You have repeatedly refused to put anything in writing despite multiple requests from me. Uh, and uh, I basically, I asked them, uh, the details of it, she gave me the address for Apple Legal. Uh, can you please provide contact numbers for Apple Legal Department? And they refuse to do anything. I'll be submitting this form next week. I'll be mentioning the way in which Apple Legal stated that two and a half years is a fair and reasonable life for an Apple iPhone 7 Plus. I'll also be stating that you refuse to put anything in writing despite rip my repeated requests. As Apple is unable to agree to repair, replace, resolve the issue without payment. I have no other option than to take this dispute to QCAT. I hereby reserve my rights. Blah, blah, blah. Archie Luxury. So, uh, I gotta be honest with you. I, I, I wrote to them and, and, uh, you know, they basically, Apple plays hardball. They, um, they, they very, very much, they, they play the hardball. I even wrote to them and said, you know, uh, this is what I said. I, I, I said, I wrote to Apple, uh, and said, uh, 
As per Queensland Consumer Law, I seek repair of the device. The two-year warranty period is invalid under Queensland Consumer Law. The, and I quoted the Act, the Consumer Law. It said, a failure can happen at any time in a reasonable life of a good or, ser a good or service. A reasonable life is how long you can realistically expect the product to last. This will depend on the type of product, for example, the reasonable life of a new car would be longer than that of a house cleaning service. Looking forward to your reply, I said to them. And, you know, Apple, i got to be completely frank and honest with you. They are a bunch of corporate fucking assholes. That's exactly right. They are a bunch of corporate assholes. They are very PC, very hip happening. Three different types of uh, on hold music. You know, they're very cool. But when it comes to uh, actually dealing with uh, any of your issues there, they are basically wrong. They are wrong. They are, they are really nasty fuckers. That's what they are. So the thing is, she, Apple Legal told me to get fucked. Anyhow, guess what? <clears throat> guess what indeed? Guess what happened? You know what happened, don't you? Apple, I lodged the, the forms, and guess what? Apple rings me back. I had a guy called Sherman. Sherman? Sherman in Singapore rings me back and says, Hello, Mr. Pluter. Uh, how can we resolve this? Blah, 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 blah. And I said to him, Sherman, Sherman, there's nothing to resolve. There's nothing to fucking resolve. Oh, I didn't swear. I didn't swear. I said, Sherman, there's nothing to resolve. You either fix the phone, replace the phone, or I see you in court. That's what I said to Sherman. I said, Sherman, Sherman. Uh, I said, it's very fucking obvious. Well, I didn't swear. I said, it's very obvious, Sherman. I said, you either fix or replace the phone, or I see you, see you in the court. I said, I don't care. I don't care. And I said, Sherman, the best part about consumer law in Queensland is you cannot appeal the decision of QCAT. It's not a court. Normally in a court, you can appeal the verdict. There is no appeal process. And I said, Sherman, the other thing is too, you know, I can technically print out the transcript from the court and hand it out at, at the front of your Apple store and you can't sue me for nothing because it's a public document. I'm in a public space, and uh, go screw yourself, Sherman. And I said this to Sherman. He goes, oh, what can we do? I said, Sherman, what's this bullshit? What can we do? You told me to get stuffed, get stuffed, get stuffed. I beg you, I begged you for assistance, and you told me to get stuffed. You said to me to get stuffed. So, Sherman, if you're going to wear the big boy pants... You're going to have to come through because I'm not scared of taking you to QCAT. I'm not scared at all. I said, it's win-win. <coughs> I said, <clears throat> if I win, I get a phone. I get a, either a new phone or a replacement phone. <clears throat> if I lose, I win because you guys are going to have to send very, very good legal team to fight it. <clears throat> and uh, it'll probably cost you $10,000 for the matter. I said, I'm, I'm happy either way. I've caused you pain and suffering, or I get a free phone. Well, I get I get my phone. I get a phone that works. So I, I said to Sherman, "This is the situation. This is the situation." I said, um, "I said Sherman, I uh, I said this is the situation. Uh, what the hell is going on here, Sherman? There ain't nothing to debate, nothing to discuss. Either you give me." And, you know, they're very, very cool in Apple. You know, very cool. And, you know, Sherman says to me, we've reassessed your matter. It's like he's helping me. Bullshit! You gave me the big finger up the asshole. You gave me the big finger up the asshole. He says, oh, we've reassessed it because the phone was in such good condition. We've uh, re reconsidered it and we've decided to get it uh, repaired, re fixed for you. A swap, a swap, swap it for another refurbished unit. I said, Sherman, you know what, Sherman? Don't pretend you... Don't do me no favours, Sherman. Don't do me no favours. Don't 
Don't do me no favours, Sherman. Don't do me no favours, Sherman. No need to do anything special for me. No need, Sherman. Don't worry. I hate your guts. I hate Apple. I hate it. Hate it. Hate Apple. In fact, Sherman, I gone for a Google Pixel phone. I use a Pixel now. I gone the Google way. So I don't really give a stuff. But I'm not letting you bastards get away with not fixing or replacing my phone or giving me a refund. I am not going to put up with that. I said, I'm happy to go to court. I got, I got all the time in the world. I run a second rate YouTube channel. I got all the time in the world, Sherman. I got all the time in the world. And I got to tell you, the way Apple works is basically they're a pack of bastards, an absolute pack of bastards. And they realistically, what happens is, <clears throat> they'll tell you to get stuffed until you lodge it in the courts. As soon as you lodge the documents in the courts, hey, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. As soon as you lodge it in the courts, um, you, um, um, that's the way it goes. So you've got to be able to, you can't just bluff these fuckers out. You've got to actually put some mouth, mouth into the argument. You've actually got to proceed. Lodge the court. I don't give a shit. You know how much it cost me to lodge this court case with Apple? I can tell you exactly. You got the receipt here. Uh, to actually lodge it, it was uh, $26.95. Best 27 bucks I ever spent. Best $27 I've ever, ever spent. And uh, Sherman, Sherman, thank you, Sherman. Thank you, thank you. You guys are so cool at Apple. You're a bunch of fucking assholes. Bunch of fucking assholes. Apple is a bunch of fucking assholes. They are uncooperative. They are deliberately, they will stall you. They will procrastinate. They will never put anything in writing. Uh, even if you repeatedly ask, uh, they really are a nasty, vicious organization. Absolutely vicious. My entire, <coughs> my dealing with Apple has been just very, very painful. Very painful. So uh, you've got to, if you're going to fight with the big boys, you're going to wear the big boy pants, take them to court. That's what you've got to do. Take it to Consumer Affairs. Uh, you know, caveat emptor is the other one, you know, where let the seller beware, fuckers, let the seller beware. And, uh, look, I, I'm not trying to abuse my privilege, you know, all I'm trying to say is, look, I, uh, I had a phone, it was slightly out of warranty, I thought you guys would be good enough to honour it and fix it. I mean, this was a, I think, <coughs> the Apple iPhone 7, I bought that new, <clears throat> that's a $1,500 <clears throat> Aussie, you know, it's a thousand US dollar phone. There was a lot of money. <clears throat> and when it doesn't last long, I mean, you know, that's why I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed because it, um, it was very expensive. I, I run a second rate, third rate YouTube channel. I need the phones. I need the filming, you know. So I got to be totally honest with you. Apple are a bunch of mongrels to deal with. They're a bunch of mongrels. Uh, I, I honestly, you gotta, <clears throat> you can't reason with these people. Take them to court, and then they they fall over like dogs. They fall over like dogs. So my my advice is, you got a problem with Apple. I mean, I'm not telling you to 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 get anything. You're not legally entitled to. But take them to small claims court. Put your money where your mouth is, and be have the balls to proceed, have the balls to proceed, and, um, uh, hey, I'm over the fucking moon, Archie Luxury, I beat Apple. Some people love fruit, others choose to learn Greek, some study archaeology, others are interested in Japanese culture. For some people, everything must work just like a Swiss watch. Others appreciate the creative disarray. There are the frontline type of people, 
and the other type that would prefer to remain in the shadows. Most of us, however, like to study the wonders of everyday life. We cultivate traditional values in the world of modern technologies. One day, we choose exclusive restaurants. The other day, we go for street food. But there are also those people who don't have that choice at all. Some people have everything they need. And some will never have enough. Generally, a large part of our society has tons of luck when it comes to life, but we also mustn't forget to support the part that hasn't. No matter who you are, what you do, and how much you possess, if you are able to take care of the others, you have your own personal tint. Tint. Watch changes. Together. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. And don't forget, guys, make sure you subscribe to the Archie Luxury Corporate Live Streaming Channel to be updated on all the live shows I do. Live shows! <laughs>